We'll guide you through how to use Minecraft shaders with fabric. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, just note down the current version of fabric you have. In my case, I've got it for Minecraft for 1.21. You can see the version in your launch there as well. If you don't have fabric installed, don't worry, we'll cover that. Before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to Minecraft server host, and it's packed with features. For example, one-click install mod pack, so it's super easy to play mods with friends, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and supports. So you can get help anytime you need it, as well as even more features as you can see. At the moment, you can get 30% off your first invoice. So if you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below in the comments and in the description. Click there and you can go and purchase it. So to go and continue with the guide, first of all, we need to go and get something called sodium. So go and type in sodium fabric like so. And what we can do is come to Curse Forge. So this is a fabric mod. So then you can go and click on files like so. As I said, I'm using fabric for 1.21. So I can go and find it here and go over to the right and click on the three dots and click on download file and it will start downloading. Just like that, it's downloaded. So if you don't already have Fabric and so you don't know which version you're trying to go and get, just go and get a version and you can then go and get Fabric for that version. Now what we can do is we need to go and get the next mod, which is going to be Iris. So go and type in Iris Fabric like so. And this is what's gonna allow us to go and run shaders. I'll just add Curse Forge to get it from there. So you can come to the sites. You can then go and click on files and you can scroll down. Once again, just make sure you get it for the same version. In my case, it's 1.21. Even if you don't have already have Fabric installed, get it for the same version as you got Sodium for. It should then download like so. Now, last of all, you need to go and get a shader pack. In this case, I want to get a pack called Complementary Shaders, which I've gone and searched and we can then come here. We'll go and click on Files and we can then go and get it for the same version. As you can see, 1.21 and I'll go and download it. Now, if you haven't already got it, go and get Fabric. So type in Minecraft Fabric, come to the site and you can then go and download it and you can go and install it for the same version as you've gone and got the mods in. Now come and open up your file explorer and click on downloads to the left and you can see what we've just downloaded. We can go and put it onto our desktop just to make things easier. If you haven't already, go and install Fabric. I already have it installed though. Now what you want to do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher. Click on installations at the top here and go and scroll down and go and find the fabric loader. I've got a few here for different versions, but I'm using 1.21. Hover over it and click on the file slash folder icon to the right. Then all you need to do is scroll down again until you go and find the mods folder just here. So I've gone and got the fabric API in here. It's a good idea to have this and you can go and download that. Then all we need to do is go and drag in iris and sodium. As you can see, here they are. I'll go and highlight them and go and drag them in like that. And then what we can do is go and launch Minecraft. Make sure you've got fabric selected and click on play. Here we are and go and click on options and you want to click on video settings. Now go to the top and you can click on shader packs. And then what you can do is you can go and click on shader pack folder and it will take you straight here. And what you can then do is go and add your pack in here. As you can see, I've already got a few packs, but what I can do is go and drag in the complementary shaders, just like so. What we can then do is come back to Minecraft and they'll have gone and appeared just here. You can then go and select them, click apply, and you can go and press done. You can always go and enable and disable shaders and change the pack while in the game as well. I've now loaded into a world with shaders while using fabric. And as you can see, they look super cool. Shaders do add a whole nother level to your Minecraft graphics, so I can see why you want to go and use them. And the awesome thing is with Fabric is of course you can then go and use mods as well. You've got a really cool combination here. And as I said before, you can also go and either turn on or off shaders while in game and also go and change the pack. To do that, you can pause the game, click on options, video settings, and then shader packs at the top here. Of course, you could even go and install more packs as well. I just installed one for the example of this video. If you found this useful and you want to go and see more, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.